Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr., a servant of Jesus Christ, ordained by Jesus Christ, sent by Jesus Christ, represent Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive. God raised his son Jesus from the dead. His blood shed it to take away our sin. He's alive now and he's back sitting on the right hand of the Father according to the scripture. We greet you on today. All right. We want to talk about are you leading people to Christ? Are you pointing people to Christ? Are you winning souls for Christ? Or are you leading people to you, your church? Your denomination? Are you leading to Christ? Leading people to Christ? Or are you leading people to you? Leadership. Leadership watching me. Are you leading people to Christ or are you leading people to you? Now you in leadership that tell people the Bible says obey leadership and you do not tell them to be followers of Christ. You don't tell them to obey Jesus. You don't tell them to obey the scripture. But you tell them the Bible says obey leadership. Meaning you. You're leading people to you and not Christ. For if you led people to Christ, you'll you, 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 you do what Christ said. And Christ said in the book of Matthew 16, 24, Christ told his disciples, if any man come after me, not come after you. But if any man come after me, say Matthew 16, 24, if any man come after me, Christ said, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Acts chapter 20 and verse 30. Hallelujah. I got this. I, I, thank God I got this same testimony. Oh yeah. We better start with ver, uh, verse 25. Thank God I got this testimony. Act 20, 25. And now behold, I know that ye all, among it all you watching me, you know it's the truth. You all. I know that you all, ye all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God, shall see my face no more. Well, you're going to see my face again. But you know I preach the kingdom of God. Oh, you know that. Here's something else you may not have known. Wherefore, I take you to record this day. I bow record this day. That I'm pure from the blood of all men. Your blood ain't on my head, ain't on my hands. Why? For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Are 
how you know that's the truth. My God, we how that thank God we preach the whole counsel of God. What's that counsel? The gospel of Jesus Christ. Salvation through Christ, through his blood, for the remission of your sin. Not by the works of the law, not by your tithes and offering the Sabbath day, and keep, in case I got some real Jews out there, not by keeping the law. We declare the whole counsel of God. Not repeating no sinner prayer, but what Jesus said, repent and believe the gospel. I didn't hold back. I didn't hold back nothing. Hallelujah. I have not shown to declare to you the whole count of God. Take heed I'm, 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 I, God, I'm, 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 I'm ministering to you saints now. I'm not talking about the sinners right now. I'm talking to the saints. Now you take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock leadership. Take heed to the flock and yourself. Over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseer. Yes, I'm qual I'm qualified to talk to every leader. Mm-hmm. Ain't no big out of you. To feed the church of God. You feed the church of God, man, woman. Feed the church of God. Feed the church of God. The word of God. Not your view, not your ideas. With the Holy Ghost that made you overseer. Feed to the God which he purchased with his own blood. You are the body of Christ. Jesus church is purchased with his own blood. The church of God in Christ is not Jesus church. The Baptist church is not Jesus church. The Methodist church is not Jesus church, but you are. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You, we are the body of Christ, and Christ is the head and not bishop. Uh -huh. He purchased with his own blood. What no turn God Christ purchased with no blood? What no Baptist purchased with no blood? What no method purchased with, with, with no blood? If it were purchased with no blood, it wouldn't mean nothing because your blood don't clean nobody from sin. But Jesus' blood clean from all sin, not your blood. God bless you. Amen. Lamar L. Brooks. Scotty Hayes, I see you on here. All right. For I know this, and my God, I know, God knows his truth. I know this, that after my departure, now I'm still here now, grievous wool shall enter in among you, not span the flock. That happened. That happened. After I teach the whole counsel of God, these hell-bound false prophets in the church of God in Christ, the apostolic faith in Babylon everywhere, they come in behind me, not sparing you. And here what they tell you to do, they, they tell you, that don't, don't believe the scripture that done that pre, listen to what we said. Watch this. Also of your own selves. Those sitting right in the pulpit with you. 
shall men arise speaking perverse things. Oh, they do that. Anytime you speak against Jesus Christ, that's a perverse thing. When Jesus say be perfect and your father had perfect and you say ain't nobody perfect, you speaking a perverse thing. When Jesus say it, it burnt off this sacrifice, thou have no pleasure, but you say God required you to give tithes and offering, you speaking a perverse thing. Anything you say contrary to the word of God is perverse. Whatever you say, you got to sow a seed for your miracle, you speak in a perverse thing. Whatever you tell anybody, don't obey Jesus, don't follow Jesus, but obey leadership. You speak in a perverse thing. Boy. And draw away disciples after them. That's what they doing. They say, pay no attention to Dunlap. Pay no attention to Brooks. Pay no attention to Hayes. Pay no attention to, to, to the whole true preacher. Pay no attention to uh, 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 what's his name? <laughs> what does I know? <laughs> Pay no attention to all of them up in Louisiana. Pay no attention to him. Bishop Ken Towns. Pay no attention to those that teach the truth. Lois Sugg. Marie Allen. Oh. Ooh. So the name, you know, name don't come to mind. Now, pay no attention to them. Because they don't show love. Draw away disciples after them. They leadership said, obey leadership. They not tell you to obey Jesus and obey the word. When they say obey leadership, they mean obey them and not the word. That's what they mean. Hallelujah. All right. Are you drawing people to you, your church, or are you drawing people to Christ? A as I was coming on, Holy Ghost brought this scripture, what Jesus said in the book of Luke. Chapter... <sighs> chapter... What is it? 18. Luke chapter 18. See, when you come to Christ, the men are gonna turn, gonna turn and walk away from Christ. Yeah, many come to Christ. <laughs> many come to Christ, and we point many to Christ. But when they come to Christ and they hear the requirements, they gonna turn around and walk away from Christ. Watch this. Luke chapter eighteen. Hallelujah. Actually, Luke chapter 18, verse 18, but I want to get the other. I want to get the other uh, disciple that go a little further with it. Let's see, is that Mark 10? Let's see what is that. When this man came to Christ. But when he found out the requirement, he turned around and walked away. Okay. Praise the Lord. 
It wasn't Mark gospel. Give me Matthew. Matthew 19. I need to show you this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Here it is. Matthew 19 and 16. Are you pointing people to Christ or are you pointing people to you? Christ had requirements. Yeah. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. Many came to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now this young man here in Matthew uh, 19, 16. And behold, one came and came and said unto him. And they came to Jesus. Now Jesus ain't down here physically. But he said to a preacher, how can they hear without a preacher? And, uh, and when you come to the preacher, the preacher got to give you what Jesus said. My God. And behold, one came to him saying, good master, what good thing shall I do that I might have eternal life? Yeah, it, everybody in their right mind want eternal life. But when you hear the requirement from Jesus, I know, yeah, yeah. You say, well, you don't show love. You don't even know what love is. Let's show you what Jesus showed love to the young man. But he didn't want love. He said unto Jesus, well, Jesus said unto him, why call me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter life, keep the commandment. You got to keep the commandments of God if you want eternal life. You got to keep the commandments. You can't be breaking no commandments. You got to keep the commandment. You know when you break a commandment, you just sin. Then Matthew nineteen seventeen, if thou would enter into life, keep the commandment. You got to keep Jesus' commandment. You got to. You can't break them. You got to keep them. Well, I broke it. Repent and stop breaking it. My God. He said unto him, which one, Jesus? Oh, he thought he had it all together. Hallelujah. Thou shalt do no murder. Don't commit a dirt. Don't steal. Don't bear far with it. Unfather mother. Thou shalt love the neighbor as thyself. The young man said, said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth up. Oh, he thought he was, he thought he was head bound. Hallelujah. Like, like some of you think you heading bound. And these jack leg hell bound preachers tell you, ain't nobody without sin. Okay, you ain't heading bound. You on your way to hell. You got sin? You on your way to hell? You, you breaking Jesus' commandment? You got sin? You ain't going to heaven? You better repent. You better believe him, call on him to take away all your sin. You better make up your mind to keep the commandments. My God. Hallelujah. 21 Jesus said, if thou will be perfect. Wait a minute. They say, well, ain't nobody perfect. And ain't nobody perfect. You just broke Jesus' the commandment. Number one, you told a lie. Number two, you tell the people ain't nobody perfect. Jesus said that would be perfect. But y'all say nobody perfect. Man, you hurt yourself. Woman, you hurt yourself. You on your way to hell. Jesus said that will be perfect. Go sell what you have. Give to the poor. The man said, what lack I yet? You, you're lacking something. If thou would be perfect, go sell what to have, give to the poor, and thou can have treasure in him, and come and follow. Jesus say, come follow no leadership. He said, come and follow me. And when you young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possession.
Yeah, he thought he loved his neighbor as himself, but he didn't love the poor. Jesus required me to give to the poor. Keep the commandments. If thou would be perfect. But you but y'all say ain't nobody perfect. You hurt yourself. You hurt yourself. You're on your way to hell. You sure ain't Father Jesus. Cause you follow Jesus, Jesus said thou would be perfect. Uh huh. Who, who, who? Are you are you leading people? And I have some more scripture, but are you leading people to Christ, or are you leading them to you? Christ got requirement. Number one, He said, keep the command. Are you breaking the command? Wait a minute. You got sin. That means you breaking the commandment. You ain't leading to Christ. Christ going to tell you to keep the commandment. Christ ain't going to tell you to break the commandment. He going to tell you to keep the commandment. Our God, Saturday. Woo! We, we preach the gospel outdoors. Hallelujah. By God with the telling them what Christ required. How if you all look at the look, look at the video. We with the telling them what Christ what Christ required. Hallelujah. In the video, you see two of them turn around and walk off. Mm -hmm. What do Christ Christ require? Hey the no. what they believe that road again. Yeah. Where a peach still a prayer. What do Christ require? Mark 1 17, Christ said, repent. Give it to John, and I think we're going to let you go. Are you lead people to Christ? Lead people to you. Give it to John 3. I say, lead to Christ. John 3 17. Nobody taught me this. Ever since I read this scripture early last year, I've been preaching it ever since. John 3, 18. He that believed on him is not condemned. He that believed not, they condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You say you believe. You say Jesus, you believe Jesus Christ died and rose again. You say you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. <coughs> you don't. How you don't? And then the condemnation, their light coming in the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Your evil deeds, you don't believe. Everyone do a deed with hate the light, neither come into the light, lest his deeds should be approved. You didn't come to the light. For if you came to the light, your deeds would be approved. Times 2 11. You, the devil, well, I tell you what, Romans 6. The devil told y'all, oh, we say, about, I had a preacher tell me, oh, we, we under grace now. Yeah, you're about to command, we under grace now. All right. Romans 6 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? God forbid that me know. All right. Time to live. Old red to God. Who you lead folks to? Tired of doing it. Praise God. Let's show you the grace to. You ain't done no grace. You, you want your father the devil. All right, let's show you good. Tired to eleven. For the grace of God. That bringeth salvation hath appealed to all men, teaching us denying ungodliness. Worldly lust, you know what that is saying. We shall live soberly, righteous, and godly in this prayer of the world. Looking for the blessed hope and the glory of the prayer of our great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. 
Sie willkommen. Mm-hmm. Uh, priest told you you ain't public, ain't nobody public, ain't nobody without sin. You on your way to hell. You on your way to hell. You ain't ready for Jesus to come back. We'll leave right there. Who you lead people to? If you lead people to Jesus, you got to tell them what Jesus said. Well, they confess, they confess what they might believe in their heart. All right, yeah, what do I want? Titus 1, 16. Yeah, you just ran your mouth. That's what you did. Titus 1, 16. And many come behind me. And say, well, no, no pay on Tinder Dunlap in this and this. He too dogmatic and he don't show love. Oh, they come behind. Title 116, they profess they know God. That gets them. Do you believe Jesus Christ, your son of God? Yeah. Do you believe Roman 10 9, he died in Rome again? Yeah, I believe. This gets them. They profess they know God, but in works they deny Him, being a bomb or disobedient to every good work reprobate. Are you leading people to Christ, or are you leading people to you? That's enough of that. God bless you. Thank you for hearing. It, it, it ain't nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do. Hallelujah. Praise God. Men hate me. Jesus said I'm gonna be hated. <laughs> the sad part about it, people, I don't have no, I don't have no trouble out of, out, out of, you know, uh, 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 sinners that don't go to church. I have trouble out of these sinners that go to church and call themselves saints and these preachers, so called. And I give the word of God. One, 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 one clown told me, what is love? Do you preach love? What's love? What is love? All right, let's show you what love is. First on. Five. And two. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep His commandments. And this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. That love keeps you the commandments. So you won't go to hell. Jesus sent His Son to stop you from going to hell. All men come after me. Don't believe you don't laugh. Don't, don't, don't. But I'm, I'm giving you the words of life. I'm telling you what, I'm pointing you to Jesus Christ. That's what I'm pointing you to, Jesus Christ. I'm not pointing you to no church God in Christ. I'm pointing you to Jesus. Ain't no salvation in no church God in Christ. Or apostolic faith of Baptist, nobody else. Yet there are saints in the church of God in Christ that will tell you the same thing I'm telling you. Your bishop will tell you one on one. God ain't come back for no church of God in Christ. I saw a post this morning. And I went on it. And they were right. They were right. I'm froze up. I'll get I'll get some. I wanna read this to you. And they and they were and, and they were right. But I wanted to give clarity. Let's see, let's see. God Christ. 
Okay, here it is. I'm gonna read this to you. Any right, they come up Bishop L.F. Thuston. The Church of God in Christ is a sanctified church. Well, no, but he goes on to explain what he's talking about. Okay? When we see a church of God in Christ, that's a brand. It's not just an organization. Not just an organization. It's, it's a, because you have true people of the body of Christ that, that's a member of Church of God of Christ. And they don't preach Church of God of Christ. It is a vast, diverse army of Christ centered believers with unmistakably distinct worship, lifestyle, and witness. That's true. Yet, in Church of God in Christ, you got devils and false prophets and everything. But in there, you also have two saints. They have not compromised. The Church of God in Christ is a sanctified church, not just an organization. Not just an organization. It is an organization, but it's more than that because you have true saints that belong to the Church of God in Christ. And that's a part of the organization. You also have devils and false prophets that belong to the organization. And I wrote, there are those in the body of Christ which is purchased with Jesus' blood. You know you have to solidify what the true church is. There are those, this is what I wrote. There are those in the body of Christ which is purchased with Jesus Christ's blood, which is the church in the church of God in Christ. Now the history is based on truth. The law, <laughs> the, the history is based on truth. Anyway, who you you lead people to Christ? In order to lead people to Christ, you got to tell them what Christ said. That's enough. Thank you for very much.